First big, big thing is I've lost my job. You just wasn't pump. listening, I just told you the amount. You're like, <laughs> I feel like we've not processed, so we've got that much going on. I don't feel like we've actually processed everything that's going on. No. We've not actually sat down and spoke about your iron operation. You... Oh, I said that from the start, and you said, No, I like it because we put our James like Coats in there. really your impression of me. It's a really your impression of me. That's the only answer. No, it's not. No, it shuts the nuts. Oh, it's because you really didn't put it up. I did. Oh, you did, didn't you? Savage. Are we on? Let's get this life update on the road. I don't know the last time that we actually sat down and filmed something together. The other night when I watched the football. No, that wasn't like a proper sit down. Anyway, how did that end anyway? Oh yeah, I added that. That's, the vlog's just got up today. What are you even doing? <laughs> Do I get comfy? <laughs> It is so hot, guys, it is ridiculous. It's, really it's like 27 degrees. I've got a blanket on me because my stomach is killing me and I'm really bloated, so I'm covering that with a blanket. It's so hot. I tried to get- It's 25 degrees still. And it's like, what, eight o'clock at night? Yeah. I wanted to do it where we have a really good lighting, but this is all the natural lighting you've got is one strip of light going across me, so. Lighting up the best part. Oh, it's lighting up my boobs. Mm. Nice. Mm. Calm yourself. Do my thing. <laughs> Bruh. Let's get cracking. Oh, we have got probably, I want to say like the busiest two months of our lives coming yeah. up. It's absolutely mad. Then we've got birthdays, holidays. Do you want to have My holidays? eyeballs. What else? Kitchen. Let's see if you can remember it all. <clears throat> birthdays, holiday, <laughs> birthday, eyeballs, eyeballs. birthday. Before all that, you've you've kind of forgotten everything. And you lose your job. That's the first thing, losing it's my job. It's not the first thing, is it? Because it happens in a sequence. It happens on Tuesday. I'm done. Dunzo. You've only got like three days left. Yeah. That's mental. It is. So look at me. <laughs> you are. Beading. Do you want to go get a sweat cloth? No. I think you should because I'm just going to be staring. Do you want to use a blanket? No, I'm fine. It doesn't look like you're fine to me. <laughs> anyway, yeah, Luke's right. So the first big, big thing is I've lost my job. I've lost my job. <laughs> when people say that, they automatically think, oh, what you've done. It's on like complete, what's the word? Neutral grounds? It's neutral. Well, neutral yeah. grounds. It's not mutual grounds because you don't really want to lose your job, <laughs> but you know. You know what I mean. So yeah. it's not like I've done something wrong and I'm losing my job. No. My family, if, I don't know if you guys know this or if some of you guys are new around here, but I'm a nanny. I've never been a nanny before. I'm nannying for my friend, but it's like all legit. Like I'm employed as a nanny, my short as a nanny, blah, blah, blah. I'm just fortunate enough that we get to take yeah. Lila with us. So that like is a big part of our lives, isn't it? Yeah. So the family unfortunately are moving away. So yeah, they're moving a long way away. And I said she should just go and move in with a, <laughs> a nanny from for the weekend and come home. That is not going to happen. Why not? Because it's just not. And Great. it's not like I've longed to ever be a nanny. It's not something no, that yeah. like, I've always wanted to do. We are just so fortunate. It just came at the right time, basically, isn't it? We have been so lucky. Like, There's not many people out there that get to have two wages come in and not have to pay for childcare. No, yeah. Like, I have been the childcare whilst I've been working. It's been a really weird mix, I'll say that. Like, trying to figure out the balance of being, of working. Yeah. But also having your child there has been difficult. Not difficult, it's just been different. Like, not many people are in that situation, so that, yeah. that was a big thing. But the little one that I look after is the exact same age as Lila, and it's like a little best friend, yeah. and that's going to be a really big change for her. She's going to be on her own. Yeah, it's just, I mean, we're with this, we're with the little boy like three days a week sometimes four five days a week at the minute yeah. like it's going to be a really big change for him we're going to be sad to like to see the family go we're still going to be in contact it's just not going to be like working for them and seeing them several days a week yeah. so it's going to be a massive change for our family life i mean i'm going to be looking for a job at some point yeah but i need to be looking for something like evening wise don't i so it's going to work around or early job. mornings or 
Yeah, or early mornings. It's. I mean, we don't realistically. We don't really want to put Alana in full time nursery, do we? It's just. It's expensive. Yeah, I mean that's the thing. Like we've been fortunate. We've only had. Well, we choose to send Alana one day a week. Yeah, and we the, the amount of money it costs. It's ridiculous. To put your child in nursery, like I would, if I was to go and do a full time job. That full wage practically will go on nursery. Yeah, and unless we just... you earn like proper dough. Yeah, and I'm gonna be honest, like I'm not qualified in anything. I've not, I don't specialize in anything. So any job that I will go and then get won't be the greatest pay in the world. So it will just yeah. only cover nursery, and we don't see the benefit no. for our family to do that. So it's yeah. just finding something that works on your work, really, doesn't it? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. So we'll we'll find something. I mean, it's going to be a big, big, big change for our family. Um, yeah, yeah. You won't see. Well, you might if you don't get a job. You will see Lana the same. The same, yeah. But You'll it, be with her more. I can't imagine me not getting a job. I really can't imagine me not getting a job. Yeah, yeah. Just I need I. For me personally, like I, if I have to ask this boy for money. Not a chance. No, I can't do that. No, I need to have my own money coming in. I can't. The thought of asking him for money would just. Oh, cry. <laughs> you have some money, please. No. <laughs> Literally, that's all I'd really get. So yeah, first, first, first thing that's happening. I your have... employment is finishing. My employment is losing your job. Yeah, I'm. Well, I am losing my job, but yeah. it's not like a. You're getting sacked. You yeah. you crap. But yeah, so I've got three more shifts left. <laughs> shifts. Friday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I've got four more days left of work and then that's it. But it's just the time that it falls, it's, everything's just come at once. Yeah. So what comes after the holiday? Do you do you know? Well no, first of all. No, sorry, what comes after the holiday? Car. Oh the car. So in the last video we told we said about the car but we kinda of left it on a cliffhanger, so I'm gonna let Luke take that away because I know nothing about cars. What do you mean? So basically, uh, we dropped off yesterday to get diagnosed with a fault and um, it is the vacuum solenoid valve. You didn't even tell me this. So, yes I did. You just, you just wasn't pump. listening, I just told you the amount. <laughs> yeah, you actually listened to what the problem is. No, I was just waiting for the price tag. Yeah, and it was like, they said it was like, I can't remember the price. It's like three hundred and twenty pound, which is okay, right? Sorry. Plus just... the diagnostics, which is one hundred and twenty pound. So how much is that total? That's two hundred and uh, four hundred forty, if I remembered it right. Plus. Plus what? Labour. No, that is with the labour. Oh, the oh. Yeah. Oh, oh that's what? As bad as I thought it'd be, though. I thought it was labour on top of that as well. What? Oh. The parts are. 20 quid off eBay. Why the hell are you not doing? Why did you? What are you doing? I don't know what's doing, but I don't even know where it is. The parts are 20 quid and no, you. It's not 20 quid. You're saying that now because no, you're similar it's not Google it. <laughs> I don't know how much it is. But anyway, I just rang them up and said, well, I don't want to pay that. <laughs> is that what you said? I said, I don't see why I should pay that much because in February we spent. Three thousand pounds. Three and a half. Three and a half thousand pounds on the car when the vacuum pump got changed. So it's the solenoid valve to do with the vacuum pump. And it's like, yeah, well we didn't pick that up then. I said, well, it's not that acceptable. So was that through the same fault as? Is that because of what happened last time? I don't know. But we're getting conned and telling. Yeah, it. yeah. So I said. Um, that I'm not really happy. I'm proud and the lady on the phone said, Hmm, yeah, yeah. Hmm, <laughs> yeah. Hmm, <laughs> yeah. So she said, oh, I said, yeah. I'm not happy. She said, I'll speak to my supervisor to see if we can do anything with the labour cost or the diagnostics cost. I'm really proud of you, actually, because you would normally just... We're we're the same normally. Like we won't argue it. Well, we will yeah, pay. Yeah. We'll pay it because we don't like confrontation. Yeah. 
And we, we both need to get better at that. And the fact that you've said that you want to help me, I'm really proud of you for that. Well, it's, it's, it's not at all. You're coming on like £4,000 we spent on this car in less than six months. Yeah. But then you don't understand. You're just like... <laughs> new car! Yeah. <laughs> we need a new car! No, I've had the car five and a half years. That's insane. And nothing has ever gone wrong. Other than mm. brakes and discs and tyres, which is just running stuff. It's just... It's just annoying that we've just finished paying the finance. Yeah. Like, we own that car outright. Yeah. And now things are going wrong with it. It's just annoying. It's so frustrating. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It, you come back. I mean, it's... My biggest fear now is... Cars break. I know so cars break. It. But as the car gets older, and I know it's not an old car, but as the car is getting older, it's getting more problem, problems with it. And I'm just thinking, like, are we going to have more and more? Or is it just going to... Is it worth... Just getting another car, financing another car. Absolutely not. At some point, we're going to have to do that. We haven't got twenty thousand pounds to just go buy a car. You have to lower your expectations, then, don't you? It wasn't me that got that car. It was you. I had a little Kia. Yeah. I was running around. Why do we need a twenty thousand pound car? You're the one who went and got a twenty thousand pound car. No, I didn't. Eighteen thousand pounds. Fourteen. Car. Same difference. <laughs> Anyway, that was when you're I right. was young, dumb, and full of cum. <laughs> That's what got us in this situation. Yeah. Um, I, uh, yeah. Now, having not paying for finance now is great. It, it, to be fair, it is. It just obviously saves a lot of money. But... So, if we were to get another car, just exchange that for something else, it would probably be a bit of an older car, but we wouldn't have to pay any finance. I'd be happy with that. As long as I'm not constantly concerned that the car's going to yeah, break, but you could get a different car. Yeah. Look at your dad. I, I'm literally thinking like my dad, bless him, has had no luck with cars. No, nothing at all. Like every bloody car that he's had, he's yeah. fought out loads of money on. So, Things yeah. break. I know. They're just. And that didn't, it didn't start breaking until you started driving it full don't time. Don't even start that. You, no, don't even blame that on me. You said to sell my car and we'll use your car because you've got a oh, work I wasn't going to use your car, was we? I'd happily use my Kia. It's a good whip. Anyway. You put your foot down, you go backwards. <laughs> Can't get up a hill. You won't even be able to reverse in the drive like that. No, that's true, actually. You'd be stuck in the dip like, hey. <laughs> anyway. The next thing, to be fair, so the car was the first thing actually, and then yeah, that came out of the blue. That was so random, and then so I'm, I'm losing my job, and then so I lose my job on the Tuesday, and then we go on holiday on the Thursday. Like yeah, boy, it's all just like falling in at the same time. So we go on holiday, which is really exciting. And to be honest with you, I don't know about you, I've not we've not packed for one. No, I've not even started thinking about the holiday. Yes, you have. I've been thinking about it, but not like You went to the shop today to buy sun cream. Yeah, that was because this is our last shopping that we're doing before we go away. Yeah. But in terms of, like, usually I'm packed and ready to go three years ago. Like, <laughs> I'm so organised usually, aren't yeah. I? Yeah, yeah. And I've just not... Whether it's because Lila's older now and to be fair, she doesn't really need a lot. She'll need, like, a bloody swimsuit and two dresses and she'll be happy. Whereas when we went on holiday before, she was tiny and we just, yeah. to be fair, we took way too much stuff than we needed to, but we wanted to be prepared. So whether it's that, or whether it's just we've got so much going on right now. Just rolling into one another, isn't it? Yeah, it's just everything has just fallen into like three weeks. So this weekend, it's my mum's 50th birthday, so the Saturday and the Sunday were busy doing things for my mum. And then it's your brother's 30th birthday a few days after. And then While after, we're away. Yeah, which is... Really unfortunate. Okay. We feel really bad about. It. To be fair though, we didn't have a choice in any of the days, and then the holiday got changed, mm. and then I didn't know that, and then I didn't know the date of his brother's birthday, and it just completely went in my head, and then I felt really bad, and then you didn't even think about it, did you? Until. But he's normally away. Yeah. So I don't know when he's home or when he's not. So I wasn't gonna pass up on the opportunity to go on a holiday. No, I know. It's just sad, isn't it? And then a few days after that, you got your mum's 60th birthday. Yeah, my mum's 60th birthday when we get home. And then... But so before we... that, in reverse. Before so that. we get back a holiday on the Thursday. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I'm thinking about the weekend that was celebrating your mum, that's all. Thursday. Yeah. That weekend, we're doing my mum's... And Tom's birthday. Birthday party. 
barbecue thing. Barbecue. And then on the Monday, we're going to London for my eyeball. Luke is having... I keep calling it... Is it an operation or just a procedure? It's a procedure. I keep telling it to be an operation. It's an operation. Because to me, this is a really big thing for you. It's Thanks. an operation. It's not making it about procedure. me. But it's bloody big. It's scary. Yeah. It is. I feel like we've not processed, so we've got that much going on. I don't feel like we've actually processed everything that's going on. No. We've not actually sat down and spoke about your eye operation. What's it's happened? just on the list of things that is happening. Yeah. And we've not spoke about it. Procedure. Okay, procedure. Maybe that does that can't does that not. Yeah, make it's just a about. procedure. It's eight minutes long. Is that it? Yeah. Explain to the people that are watching what's actually happening to your eyeballs because No, I don't think people want to know. They do want to know. Come on, let's just, just... Google it. No, come on, let's talk about it. No. Yeah. Okay. They want to know. So, <laughs> so, they scrape the front of your eyeball off. Well, I don't, I don't actually know what they do because I haven't had it done yet. But due to the but research. I've, I've, I've researched and read into it. So, it's corneal cross linking. They put drops in your eye to numb your eye. And then they put this drop in your eye to like, loosen the, f the front layer of your eye. and. Put the, metal clamp in your yeah. Sorry, just put that epithelium, and they scrape that away. Mm. Scrapey, scrapey. Scrape the eyeball. And then they put these drops in your eyes, and then shine it with UV light. And that's it. And UV light hardens it. It's meant to, yeah. So cross link over the cornea to stop it getting worse. So this is to stop the progression of loose eye disease that he's got, which is keratoconus. Boom, knowledge, fountain. But you're only having, he's only having one eye. I'm only eye having one eye done at a time because basically you have to stay in a dark room for like two, three days and then, like, yeah, for a couple of weeks after that's the recovery. Yeah, so if he does both eyes at the same time, he, he won't be able to see at all. Yeah. Yeah, you pretty much be blind for a few weeks. Whereas yeah. if you do one eye at a time, at least you've got like half vision for a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, two weeks off work for that. Hopefully you recover from that two weeks. Yeah, I have bloody hope so, because I'm all about to work. Yeah. I'm yeah. stuck at home with you two. And I'm unemployed, in the house, with Luke, after an operation. We're all going to go crazy. <laughs> what are we going to do? Stay out of my way. We all live in the same house. You can't. I'm not allowed to see light. <laughs> what do you want me to do? To be fair, we have like the best blackout curtains. Yeah, right exactly. The, the, the things I've read is have blackout curtains, no light in your room, and like cool pack, cool ice packs to put around your eyes because it feels like they're burning. Oh, burning. I'm burning them back. You will do because Lila comes running in that in our bedroom in the morning and the You're light shines straight. You're going to have to have Telling you. Really? Out of the room. See ya. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, it might be like one or two days and I'm fine. Hopefully. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Yeah. They said if you've got a high f pain threshold, you'll be okay. Which well, you have got pretty high pain. Well, oh, unless you're popping spots. Or you've got a cold. That's not pain. Well, it's just being cool, pussy. That's what's it there when? Cat boo's gonna fly. Let's see what else we have on our So, we've got losing your job, car, holiday. All house renovations! We've not spoken about Eyeballs. that. Eyeballs. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. That's exciting, this is a good thing. Why has that gone so dark? Because of the light. It's just him. Okay, fly. Yeah, so house renovations, this is re actually a really exciting one, isn't it? Yeah. We've bought a kitchen. Woo! I'm so excited because that kitchen has really been depressing me, like... The doors are falling off. The kitchen cupboards are falling apart. The worktop's basically snapped in half. It's been held up by, like, a bit of wood. Yeah. It's The just... washing machine, every time it's on, it shakes the old house. It shakes things in Lana's bedroom. Yes, That's how bad it is. And it's it's just a disaster really, isn't it? Like the sink the taps don't shut off properly. They do, you just gotta give them a good twist. It's only only a good plumber to fix them. If you didn't know Luke's plumber. <laughs> oh. 
Right, it's... You can explain everything that we're doing. Oh, we haven't decided yet. We're just... We're knocking that wall down. So we're knocking a wall down, ripping the ceiling out, putting spotlights in, all new electrics, all new plumbing, plastering, new floor, kitchen. Bosh! We're so excited. But we've got to make sure... So, right. You explain the picking up and all that kind of stuff. They were picking up on the 5th of August. No, 6th of August. And I have my eye operation on the 5th of August. So it can't come at any worse time, really. Honestly, everything is just <laughs> all fell in the same, literally in the same Two week. Two weeks, yeah. Probably like 10 days. Yeah. Everything has fallen into, and we are just like this close to having a breakdown. Yeah, MTV. so. <laughs> thankfully, your dad has offered to go and get it with my brother and possibly one of my friends. We are so lucky and yeah. fortunate to have the people that we have around us because yeah. we do have a village, don't we? No. We don't have a village. What's a village? <laughs> a village is people around you that take care of you. like. People oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So well, people always it. offer to help, yeah. Like, yeah, especially like doing stuff with the house. We have had a serious village. We've had people come round and paint, we've had people come round and plaster, we've had people come and move all of our stuff for yeah. us. We've had, obviously, like, Dad, your brother, and a friend offered to go travel quite a while away to go get this kitchen. Yeah. Because I don't know if Luke mentioned, like, we're not getting a brand new kitchen. No, no, no. We're getting a second-hand kitchen. And, honestly, like, we had a kitchen drawn up, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah. Planned for our kitchen. The kitchen that we found is so much nicer. Yeah. It's going to suit our kitchen so much more. But you've got to make it fit. We've got, we're going to have to make it fit, but we've got more than enough cupboards. Like the kitchen oh, at the yeah, bottom yeah, is too yeah. big. Yeah, it's massive. Which is good because then at least it's actually going to fill our kitchen. Yeah. So it's all going to be stored in the garage till um, well, well enough to start it, basically. I don't know if anybody really realises how much mess is involved. Oh, I'm expecting. And we'll be out without a kitchen for couple weeks. I'm, I'm fully expecting that and I'm not going to lie to you, I don't think it's going to change much because that kitchen feels like a building site anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're really, I say we're really lucky, but we're lucky in the fact that when we moved in we had to get a, new, a different cooker. Yeah, like a freestanding yeah. one, so even if we have no cupboards in the kitchen, we can still have a cooker. Cooker, yeah. That we can just have plonked anywhere in that kitchen and it'll work. So, because it's just an electric one, so yeah. it'll be fine. Like, as long as I know that we're getting a nice kitchen at the end of it, I'll, I'll be fine. I'll get over it. <sighs> Stay in there till next year. <sighs> Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? But, guys, right. Guys. I'm not going to show you a picture of anything in the kitchen because I really just want to wait to do like a big kitchen reveal because that has like been a big thing for us, hasn't it? Like, as soon as we saw this house, was like the kitchen is I've the biggest. I kind of forgot about it. Gave up on it, basically. Yeah. We both got... I, well, my point of view, anyway, I feel like we both got really overwhelmed with the kitchen, so we just kept ignoring it. Yeah. Well, I've always thought it would get done when it gets done. I think for me... What... What... What it is for me... What? What it is for me is we have transformed pretty much every room in this house. Yeah. And we have spent hours, shot so much blood, sweat and tears into each of these rooms to get it done. And the first thing that you see when you walk into our house is the kitchen. And I know, it's just a bit of a downer. Seth so doesn't bother me. Really? Mm. I think you'll probably tell, you'll tell the difference when it gets done. Oh yeah, it'll be brighter as well, because that floor is really dark as so. well. Yeah, and it's like the, the paint in there, like it's stained from other people's mess. Yeah. And I think that, like other people's food. And you haven't plastered it, did a terrible job. Yeah, it just, it all needs ripping out and yeah. doing again, is like... It? You can help. No. I will help where I can, I, honestly. But I'm going to be the childcare. I'm going to be making sure Lila's not in this house so you could do what you need There'll to do. There'll be weekends, because I work all week. I don't know. I'm not, I think he thinks I expect him to get it done overnight. And I know that it's not going to get done overnight. I know that. And I know it's going to be a one-man band. So it's not going to be like we're going to have a load of workmen in it. It's going to get done in a few days. I know might that. do. Might call them through favours. Oh, could do. But anyway, to be fair, I need to give a few favours out first. You do, we have had a lot of help. Yeah. You need to start dishing those favours out. Yeah. Um, but 
But with this kitchen, we've got a second hand off Facebook Marketplace. Guys, get yourself on Facebook Marketplace. It is the place to be. We've got the kitchen. It comes with an extremely gorgeous oven. I will not say any more than that. But it comes with a fridge freezer. It comes with a dishwasher. It comes with... Extract fan. Yeah, sink. Quartz taps. All for not even £1,500. Yeah. It's insane. Like... I think probably brand new, that kitchen would be about 25000 It's mad. Mad. And we got it for like, what? it was just under £1,500. And I bought the utility. Oh yeah, we were also making, I say we, Luke is also making a utility in the garage. So we're going to have the washing machine in the garage. Did I tell you it comes a dishwasher? Oh my god, it's going to be life changing. Did I say dishwasher? Yeah, you did, yeah, yeah. yeah. Life changing. We have Why never... not a dishwasher? I am not being the personal dishwasher for much longer because... I can't cope. I you washed up for tea time. Well. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, oh, no. What winds me up is you don't wash up during the. Like, what winds me up is you don't wash up full stop, so don't even go there. Not my paws. What's in the kit? What's in the sink now? When I cook, I wash it all up. All right. When was the last time you cooked? We're on Thursday. Sunday. Yeah. You've not want you've not washed up. Or no, I'm not what you've you been at home every day. Because I've been working from home. That is the I'm I still can't been working work from home. every day this week, but because I've been working from home, it just happens that I've been cooking and I've been washing up every damn day. Yeah. Whilst working. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> anyway, so after we get back from holiday, after Luke's recovered, after all the birthdays, we've got the kitchen to look forward to forward to it's going to be rather stressful it is going to be stressful but the lo in the long run it's going to be something to look forward to which yeah. is going to be really yeah. nice then it snowballs look i was just going to do the kitchen and i was like oh might as well do the electrics and oh might as well have spotlights but if i have spotlights we might as well rip the ceiling down and if we rip the ceiling down we might as well knock a wall out and then if we're knocking that wall out we need to move the radiator and if we move the radiator we might as well put the boiler in the loft Right, can I just say, the only thing I've requested is that wall out. You... Oh, I said that from the start, and you said, No, I like it because we put our shoes and coats in there. It's a really good impression of me. It's a very good impression of me. <laughs> okay, yes, at first I didn't want that wall taken out, but I think that's the best idea. Yeah, it really is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But taking the ceiling down, putting the spotlights in, doing the ball, none of... I don't want to even know where to start, so why would I come up with those ideas? That is all you. Because it would look crap of us. Well, you do you. I'll just... You can't have a nice new second hand kitchen. <laughs> nice um, new second hand kitchen. With that light up in there, can you? Oh my god, the light is horrendous. It's like a bloody floodlight. It's not even... It's bright, though, isn't it? It's bloody yeah, good. But you can tell it's not the original light because wherever the original light is, there's a big internal temp high allow it to crawl. We've clearly been speaking for way too long because the camera's just overheated. So we're going to end it here. I want to say thank you so much for watching. Don't forget that all this, what is this doing? All this is going to be filmed. Like everything that's going on is going to be in vlogs or certain videos. Like I think we're going to do like a whole video on your eyes, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. That'll be a couple of weeks on. A couple of weeks? Oh, are you going to do it in one big video or every night? What do you mean? Oh, no, so I mean, so like, you know, like travelling down to London, oh. having your operation, coming yeah. back, and then maybe procedure. like the day after, sorry, procedure, but maybe like the day after, so that's going to be like a video in itself, and do like a whole kitchen renovation, and a holiday <coughs> vlogs, and packing <coughs> vlogs, and packing birthday vlogs. Put my speedos in. Oh, are you actually taking your speedos? Yeah, I'm That's be, brilliant. Yeah. We're like going with like 12 of my family, but we'll explain everything when we actually get to the holiday vlog, but... We're gonna shut up now. Because yeah, you ramble on, don't you? Yeah, Whoa, because I've got to do all this every day. Every day. I'm gonna shut up. We're gonna go now. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on post notification bell, and we will see you in the next one. Probably gonna be a packing vlog. Bye. Bye.